there, it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am going to give the napkin background cards a go. Now I have seen these for such a long time, I've wanted to do them for a really long time. I've honestly just never kind of had everything in place ready to go. So today is the day and I came across this napkin that I really loved. So I am cutting down a piece of 80 pound Nina Solar White down to 4 by 5 and a quarter inches. And these are the napkins. Now I will put a link to these down below. So I think there is maybe 10 or 20 or so in the pack. So I have plenty to play with. But if I unfold it here, you can see this beautiful big napkin here. And there are so many cards that you could get just out of this one piece here. So I was kind of looking at it and trying to decide which part I wanted to capture for this card. Now I will let you know already that I went ahead and made two different videos using uh, this napkin, just this one, um, because there really is so many ways to use it. You don't have to use it like I'm using it in today's video. So the second video will focus on um, a little bit different ways. But anyway, I found a little piece that I like. The important part of this is to remove the backing. Now often they will have three layers, but this one definitely just has two, so I just needed to remove that one backing layer. And don't throw that away either, because that is really fun for stamping on and things. So that can, is a whole nother topic. <laughs> Now, when it comes to adhering down these napkins, there are so many different ways out there. You can use a normal glue stick, you can use some double-sided adhesive sheets, these ones are from scrapbook.com, but you can use those or any other brand, or you can use a liquid glue like I'm going to use today. Now, as I said, there are so many different ways to adhere these down, and honestly, I made a whole heap of these cards now, and all of them are pretty good. Uh, now I'm just showing you here that this is the multi-medium that I put in my glue bottles as well. So that's what I usually transfer over to my little glue bottles. But the key here when you are adhering it down is to make sure you get the edges. No matter what glue you are using or what adhesive you are using, make sure you get the edges. That is the most important part because you do not want this peeling up. And then I'm just going to kind of gently drop my napkin starting at the left hand side and then just smoothing it out a little bit. You do want to be really gentle because obviously you've taken away the layers of the napkin and it's really thin. It's just basically a thin tissue paper. So you can see that I am giving it a good minute to adhere down and make sure that it's all sealed. Now you can go over the top as well with the multi-medium. You can go over the top and kind of seal it in. However, I didn't feel like I needed to at this point, so I was just going to leave it as is. I'm using my scissors because that's what I found easiest to trim away the edges, but a trimmer would work just fine. Just make sure it's all nice and dry. Then I'm coming back to the same napkin because I am thinking about which other butterfly I want to add in. Um, to finish off my card because I don't want this to be just a background. I want to make a complete card out of this. So I've chosen this little soft blue butterfly here and he's quite little but what I need to do is remember to take off that backing piece and then I'm just kind of cutting down little extra pieces off it and I have a little scrap of the same white paper adding on some of that liquid glue then I'm going to pop my butterfly down nice and easy and then I actually end up going over top of this one as well but as I said neither here nor there don't need to I do need to make sure that it's really nice and dry before I start fussy cutting this out now don't get me wrong you could use any embellishment here you could definitely just use a stamp and stamp out a really gorgeous butterfly or some extra flowers or bees or anything that you want to add onto your card depending on what your napkin is and kind of what the theme is um, of your napkin so I am just going to fussy cut around this which is really nice and easy <laughs> when I choose fussy cutting items I definitely look at how easy or hard they are going to be to get around all of those little bits and pieces now I have a glitter brush here this one is from scrapbook.com I've tried lots of them from lots of different um, companies and honestly they're all pretty good this one is a good price point and so this is one I'm going with at the moment and I am squeezing that barrel to try and get lots of the glitter on there lots of the shine so I will need to use my heat gun to dry it and it keeps kind of running away from me but in a second here I will give you a close-up and show you it has a lot of shine to it and I did that on purpose again this is just something that I chose to do you don't have to do that at all either now I want my butterfly to stay dimensional and one way you can do that is by adding 
some uh, little foam squares or something underneath the wings and that keeps them propped up which is really good if you are putting it through the mail. I am using some sticky embossing ink, the Verisamark one is my favourite one for sure, and adding some clear embossing powder over top. I will heat this up so that it's all nice and melted and then just before it cools I'm going to bend it. Be careful with your fingers but I'm going to bend it then give it 10 more seconds to cool down and then the embossing powder will have cooled down and melted into that nice shape so my butterfly keeps nice and dimensional. Now for the sentiment here, I was a little bit nervous about doing this sentiment because I want it all to tie into the card. I don't want it to kind of stick out like a sore thumb. So I am using this stamp set here, which I've used many times before. I will link it down below. I'm going to stamp it in some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I'm looking at the pattern here and the colors used. And I went through my Distress Oxide range to see if I could find some colors that were similar. Now, especially when I take the lid off, I want to make sure that I'm kind of getting the right color there. So the Victorian Velvet ended up being too dark when I looked at the actual ink. But the... Um, tattered rose and the scattered straw of the yellows kind of matched up a little bit better. Now I just want to say there quickly that looking at the ink pad directly is not a good way to tell which color the ink is going to turn out. I just want to clarify that but it helped me when I was making my decision. So you can see here I'm taking the yellow and I'm really going so lightly. In fact I got lots of extra ink off to the left there and I'm using those two inks to kind of go over it a little bit dotted, a little bit scattery, nothing solid and nothing um, really inked up, just a little bit over the top. And then when I started cutting this out, I felt like it was definitely coming together and the colors really did match what I had on my background. So I'm using my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer. This has become an absolute favorite of mine. I have been asked a lot recently about my recommendation on guillotines and this is definitely my favorite one. So this is the one that I recommend. Now I am just using those same little finger daubers to go around the outside and just ink up the edges to A, take away that white core of the paper and B, to give it just a smidgy more color. Now when I was looking at my background here, <laughs> I wanted to just give it a wee bit more something. So I'm going around with some Vintage Photo Distress Oxide inks just because I felt like the napkin was really really bright um, and I didn't do anything in the center so I kept all of the brightness there but it definitely gives it a nice border and kind of a nice finishing touch. And then I did the same, I added a little bit more to my sentiment to make sure it was all a nice cohesive color scheme. So I put a little bit on top there as well and that is pretty much that part finished. Now I'm going to pop the card all together, so I'm using that uh, multi matte medium which is inside the glue bottle there, the same as what the bottle was uh, that I used to adhere on the actual napkin. I have a video on my channel showing how I get it into those bottles which is nice and easy, it shouldn't be a stressful process or even a very messy process. Um, it's really quite easy. So I have popped some foam tape up on my sentiment there and then of course my little butterfly which I was struggling to place. I wasn't sure if he should go up high or down low but I definitely like that he kind of perches on the edge of the sentiment there. So I'm just going to use again a tiny little bit of liquid glue and pop him there. Add a little bit more of the glitter brush to the other little butterfly that we can see there just to bring him out a little bit more and it kind of also brings out the colors, it deepens the colors a little bit. And that is my card finish for today. Thank you so much for joining me and I really look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, bye!